Hey, what's up guys? Just did my blood pressure at Canadian Tire, and I don't know if you can see, but it's 118 over 55. So that's within optimal range, which is good, because for, if you've been following me the last few weeks, here, I'm just gonna put my jacket on here a bit more. If you've been following me the last few weeks, uh, it has been abnormally high with, uh, due to uh, the amount of steroids. It happened when I introduced Primabolin and I was already taking a higher end dose of testosterone, approximately 500 a week milligrams that is, and uh, then matching that with 500 milligrams. So it's like essentially a gram of uh, gear a week, blasting it and then adding the uh, HGH on top of that. I believe that there, that can uh, heighten blood pressure as well. But uh, specifically, I noticed for one week that it, that it was abnormally high and I was getting chest pains, shortness of breath, dizzy. I had a headache for two weeks. So what I did was uh, brought down the amount of testosterone and Primabolin down to around 350 a week mark. And a week or so ago, I measured my blood pressure again and it improved. Now, two weeks after measuring it, it's within uh, optimal range, which is good considering the, I'm still taking considerable amount of gear at the moment. Three, four, I'm, I'm pushing 400 a week now. I even brought it back up since. So pushing 400, oh, that's uh, just testosterone. So in total, I'm doing uh, over uh, 0.8 of a gram, 80% of a gram of uh, gear at the moment and six I use a day of uh, growth hormone. So that, I believe, I've like calibrated it to a point where like my blood pressure is within good range and I'm getting the, all of the benefits like that, you know, the anabolic benefits of what I'm taking, the whole point of taking it, minimizing the, the health risks, which is, high blood pressure for me is probably top on that list. Like, whatever, you get a bit of acne, who cares? I'm not losing my hair, good. Sex, is good. Nothing like that, it's not affecting anything else that's, that I would consider being like a, a deal breaker in it. The, my, my major concern was the blood pressure and I believe that it's due to, like I said, bringing down the dose, but as well I believe that my body just need to be a bit uh, acclimatized to it. <clears throat> your body's not used to this amount of foreign agents within yourself. I believe that the heightened blood pressure and things is a natural reaction to, to that, right? So it's only natural that your body, at, at the beginning, when it's not used to a gram of foreign steps, substance a week in your body that's altering your biochemistry, your, things like heart rate is going to increase. now. I know some substances like uh, EQ and uh, even testosterone, but you know, Trembolone and of our, some things, they do increase blood pressure and uh, in higher amounts specifically. So, you know, it doesn't matter how much you're getting used to it. I believe that you will still have high, heightened blood pressure on some of these things, some of these, these compounds that you're taking, but you know, that's where it comes to, to the point where titrating the dose this is my strategy titrating the dose up till you reach these till you hit the red line essentially like you know on like a gear in a car like rpms you are going like and you hit the reds okay back off the pedal a little bit till you're like down to like the orange right and stay there for a bit then you become acclimatized to it while it's not fucking your body up and then you can potentially start titrating again up the dose, uh, monitoring, your, monitoring your levels. Now, ideally, I should be taking the blood test panel soon, and I will. I want to do that when I'm kind of at the height of my, the peak of my, uh, of my blast. So I, because if, if I'm at like the peak of it, where I'm taking all of the compounds at the highest amounts, I can see, and then I 
do the blood panel, I can see how much that's actually taxing my system. If my liver markers are up, if my uh, estrogen counts up and things, I will know that that is potentially an unsafe amount to do or that might not work for me and I might have to change compounds. But if, uh, conversely, if, it, if it's showing that I'm still within normal range and things and meanwhile I'm blowing the fuck up strength and size, well hey, keep note of that cycle and potentially do that again in the, in the near future, right? Uh, the, the whole testosterone, which which is natural, obviously bioidentical to what I'm, like what naturally occurs in the body, so that's technically like the safest compound. Although you know, in excess amounts, super physi physiological amounts, like it can be unsafe. And then the primal one, which is known for one of the safer, you know, nothing is totally safe, but is known as one of the cleanest compounds. Between those two, which the whole purpose of this cycle I was taking. I believe that my blood markers should be good. I don't see why they would not be, but you never know. So I'll leave it there guys, blood pressure, check, good. Happy with it, 120 over, what was it like 50 or something? I don't know, it was, it was, it was within optimal range anyway. So I'll, I'll leave it there guys, thanks for watching, peace.